It takes less than five minutes to drive from the Moskovsky Bridge on a smooth asphalt motor road to the recreation center Volna. There you find an amazing place with lines of marigolds and roses, like ornaments on Ukrainian embroidered shirts, and the river Dnipro glistening like silver behind pussy willows and inviting you to walk down the sandy beach. The gem of this well-attended place is a big hospitable house that rose here in a mere couple of months. It is the restaurant Cervona Kalina, Red Gelder Rose. A tasty smell helps you find the outdoor barbecue ground. Here, the customer gets whatever kind of shish kebab he may wish – veal, pork, sheet fish or chicken, or minced mutton chop. And while the marinated pieces are roasted on the glowing embers, it's such a pleasure to take a breath of fresh air and stroll in the shade of fruit trees. This restaurant is not only famous for its vareniki. The cooks offer such a delicious fish soup or cold kvass soup with a peculiar combination of ingredients that you simply can't but part with your banknotes, and not too many, even if the waiter counts your shish kebab, meat or cheese pastry, smoked sausage with onions, meat salads and other culinary temptations. With such a moderate pricing policy, it's not a big problem to arrange bigger events at Charvona Kalina, a wedding or corporate party. It can hold up to 400 customers, and they can only feel free and uninhibited, far away from interested eyes. The night on the eve of the feast of Ivan Kupala is when only the dullest stay at home and all the rest hurry away from town to the wilderness of magic, fortune-telling and wish-making. It is a feast of old Slavonic traditions with a lot of dancing, singing, playing games, drinking and eating by a campfire. And the new restaurant Cervona Kalina that stands right by the riverside is the very proper place for this feast. The color ribbons adorning green kupalica symbolize hopes for a woman's happiness, for good health of their dear ones, for peace and wealth in homes. The festive spirit of Ivan Kupala can stay indoors when wild, impetuous emotions inherited from pagan ancestors want to break free. No evil force can break through the strong circle of arms as long as the guests' problems and troubles burn in the sacred fire together with the effigy of Marena, the devil of woods and bogs. The flames of the campfire rise higher and higher, as if cleaning people of evil thoughts and illnesses. Like centuries ago, young and elderly couples hold hands and press each other's fingers, their affection glowing like this campfire. And the river catches the wreaths and carries them away from the bank as a pledge of loyalty. After such an active pastime in the open, the guests are naturally tempted by the Charvona Kalina cuisine, and they drink this good wine to joy and good luck. Chicken rolls with dried apricots simply melt in the mouth, mixing with a mild taste of white vintage wine. The slightly sour taste kind of brings out the culinary secret of Royal Hunt, a salad of ham, chicken, tongue and pickled cucumbers. The tender flavor of wine blends with a dazzling smell of raw champignons, peach and pineapple, justifying the name of this dish, Temptation. But this old light straw-colored wine goes especially well together with grilled salmon, Refinement matches exquisiteness. And dry red Georgian Sape Ravi coquettishly plays with a taste of veal roasted in bacon. They start wine with a strong character, subdues the tender pork under cheese and pepper, leaving a lasting pleasant aftertaste. Walking out of Cervona Kalina, you wish this feast never ended or at least took place here more often. And that's exactly what this restaurant can promise. As the classic wrote, wonderful is the Dnieper in quiet weather. It's winter, the beach is desolate and cold, and the frozen anchor is waiting for a new summer season. It needs some rest too. So do the yachts that used to moor here last summer. Over there in the distance one can see the residential district of Abalon. This means it's quite easy to get to the Cervona Kalina Recreation Center from Kiev across the Moskovsky Bridge. You may ask what makes people go out of town and come here. The answer is simple. Here they have a hot stove and a warm atmosphere of the genuine Ukrainian countryside. The hospitable and caring owner of this place, Petro Holovatenko, has managed to fill it with the unique spirit and charm of Ukraine, which is symbolized by this beautiful bush with clusters of red berries. 
The Gilder Rose, also called Arrowwood or Snowball, grows near every Ukrainian house, guarding families against devils and other evil spirits. And there is no better remedy for colds than these red berries that are full of vitamins. While the nimble hostess kindles firewood in the stove for roast and pumpkin porridge and the cooks lay out appetizers, it's good to take a walk and talk about the factor of ethnicity in the recreation business. No matter who comes to Chervona Kalina, Ukrainians or foreigners, everyone likes the father's yard, a separate house with a stork nest and a hot stove in the dining room. Standing under the icons, we talk about the invincible spirit of the strong nation. This room allows for 30 customers. Hot porridge, cabbage soup or pancakes stewed in milk are served in traditional cauldrons brought right from the stove. The pantry is filled with jugs in which they serve harilka, Ukrainian vodka, uzvar, cold drink made of dried fruit or baked milk. Then, if the customers wish, they can have a nap on the stove bench, but that's a bit exotic. If you want to get the real feel of the father's hut, just walk upstairs where you will find three bedrooms and a kitchen dining room. There is one more house, the lodge. It's so small it looks almost like a toy house, but the heads and skins of wild beasts on its walls are real. The walls are made of logs interlaid with clay. They keep the lodge warm in winter and cool in summer. The air inside is always fresh to breathe and sleep well. After all, we all are sort of hunters. We hunt for luck in business, creative work or politics. And we all need a good rest. Charvona Kalina is a perfect place for recreation. Right beside the restaurant you can find a hotel with 12 rooms and a conference hall. The comfortable and cozy bedrooms breathe with pleasant freshness. The forest and river are near, but the best way to relax is to have some light steam. After a hot sauna, a cool pool and aromatic tea, you feel like you are born again. A game of billiards brings back your force and appetite, so it's time to move to the restaurant. In the stove, flame is leaking on oak billets, filling the spacious room with the warmth of a family hearth. Every nation is strong with its traditions and customs, which are kept in each and every family. When there is love in the heart and bread on the table, then goodness triumphs. There is enough room for 300 persons on two floors, and the banquet hall is very comfortable for a small company. Everyone orders salted and pickled appetizers that go so well with harilka and lard that keeps the body healthy and strong. This home-cooked sausage and these crack nails make the mouth water. Who says pills? We have garlic, our natural antibiotic against any infection. The glasses never dry out, and the hostess shuttles from stove to table with red-hot pots. The vareniki with onions are delicious. The duck stuffed with apples can't fly anywhere but into the stomach. Their meat is so soft. Why look for any other table when the dishes of the house are on this one? The well-attended yard is sinking into soft twilight. Snowflakes like silver sparks are dancing before the guests, giving them the peace of mind, the feeling of unity with nature, and the sensation of the moment of truth, the highest blessing for everyone. Jesus was baptized in the Jordan. On Epiphany, the Dnieper was covered with thick ice. Nature herself stood frozen in anticipation of the great holiday of Epiphany. On that day, Orthodox Christians bathe in the sacred water to purify the body and soul and accept the Lord's blessing. For the fifth time, people gathered on Epiphany Day on the river beach near Charvona Kalina for the baptismal rite and bathed in the ice hole, which was traditionally cut in the shape of a cross. A local priest read a prayer and consecrated the water.
Truly blessed by God were the faithful and inspired people who submerged in the ice-cold water and emerged pure and regenerated from this font. It's all right with grown-ups, but even little kids plunge into the ice hole without fear. So did women, and their faces shone with the joy of partaking in the sacral rite. The line to the ice hole seemed endless, but soon, one by one, the hot and happy guests gathered in the spacious halls of the restaurant and sat down to the festive tables. Yes, the tables in Cervona Kalina were laden with food, just like each day during the season. The runi, potato pancakes with cracknels and all sorts of home-cooked sausage were served hot, right from the stove. Pots with vareniki were emptied in a twinkle and replaced with filled ones. But the first course was the traditional Cossack kapusniak, thick cabbage soup that had stood in the very depth of the Ukrainian stove for the whole night. Everyone drank to God's protection of all Christians, to His absolution and to His goodness. The Lord hears everyone's prayer, but children's voices sound the sweetest to Him.